Hi, this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to do a little overhead aluminum welding. And uh, nothing too extreme, we're just going to do a little lap, little lap feed up in there. Use my little clamp to sit down on a bench. Now you got to remember with aluminum, you want to keep it as clean as you can. You've got your, wipe everything down with your, your alcohol or acetone. And then your wire brushes. And then speaking of wire brushes and even, even sanding discs and grinders, you want to separate them. You want to separate the aluminum wheels you use opposed to the steel ones. Because if you get any kind of contamination on any kind of material that's not compatible, like steel and aluminum, they're not compatible. So you want to keep them separate. And uh, however you label them and put them off to the side, that's on you. But uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and run a little, just a lap, lap bead right across here. And uh, I'm going to clean everything up and uh, do some overhead. This is what we're going to be doing for the overhead. It's just a little lap weld. I didn't want to put a T weld in there because it's harder for the camera and all that. And so this way here, it's just, it's easier. And same thing with, with my, uh, my stinger. I've got the clear Pyrex cup on there and with the gas saver so you guys can see how I'm running the bead. And then on my lens, uh, for my hood, I've got the auto dark. And for myself, I like the, the shade 11. And um, I've got the little magnifying lens in there too, which uh, the Elite hood has a little slot right there. And you can put a, a, what we call a cheater lens in there, a magnifying lens, along with the, you know, the, the darkening lens. And I'm going to be using, like I said, a 53, 56 rod, eighth of an inch. I'm going to be using an eighth of an inch tungsten. I got my argon set to just about 25, a little less than 25. And keep everything clean. And uh, I'm sitting down. That's why it's a little low, like chest level here, because I'm going to sit on the stool. And uh, let's uh, do it. Well, there you go. It's, it's up there. You take a wire brush to it, clean it up a little bit. Not too bad. Hot stuff. Now for a, for a quick little thing, that's the 53, 56 rod. I didn't get too much scallop underneath here. And when I have my, my uh, tungsten, I kind of go at, a, at an angle like that a little bit and more or less bleed it down and bleed it down and bleed it down and bleed it down. And uh, with practice, you know, you can get a lot better. And uh, obviously I haven't done it for a while, but it looks okay to me. Well, that's your overhead lap weld. And uh, just keep practicing, stay safe with it because when you do overhead aluminum, it'll drip. On you, keep your feet out of the way. And I'm Rob, and thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab. We'll see you next time.